Hi, this is Billy Farmer with Georgia Poultry Equipment Company. Today I'm making this video to better educate everyone on how dimming light bulbs affects the wattage used on a bulb. What we have here is just a basic slide manual dimmer and a wattage meter that you can pick up from any home improvement store or the internet. They run for about $18 to $28 depending on the model. But uh, we have a 100 watt incandescent light bulb here that I'm going to turn to full intensity. Now full intensity is using roughly 93 watts. And like I said, this is a 100 watt bulb. Now I'm going to dim it down to the 50% mark on the slide dimmer. And the bulb's using basically 55 watts, give or take. And then on to 25 which is 26 watts to 28 and then next we have what they call is the life lamp dimmable fluorescent two-piece bulb and by two-piece it means it comes with an independent ballast and an independent bulb and these can be purchased as a combo unit or replacement bulbs can be purchased if you have to replace them down the line now on a dimmable CFL turned up to 100% it takes a second to get the energy needed to crank it up because basically it's like a little starter in there and as you can see it's, this bulb is a 15 watt bulb and right now it's using 14 watts now when you start to dim a CFL this particular model you can dim it down to 50 percent basically and nothing has essentially happened it's still using the exact same amount of electricity so we start to dim it below the 50% mark, that's when you start to see a noticeable decrease in light intensity. Roughly I'm at 25% on this dimmer and I'm using 9 watts of electricity. And then you dim it on down to about the 10-15% to 15 mark and it's using 5 watts of electricity. Now on a CFL you can dim it down until basically it starts to flicker. Once you've hit the flicker point, that is when you start to damage CFL bulbs. So the Life Lamp, um, they have a microprocessor inside the ballast that is supposed to turn off the bulb before it starts to flicker to help preserve the life of the bulb. In this case, you can see as I turn it down, it's just starting to flicker now, and then it turns off. So that's the CFL bulb dimmed down. All right, so now the next bulb is our cold cathode bulb. And this is an eight watt cold cathode made by Lightronics. And we're gonna turn this to 100%. And at 100%, we're using roughly nine watts of electricity. So it uses a little bit more than it's stated to. We're gonna dim it down to a 50% on the dimmer and we're using 5 watts of electricity basically and then we're going to dim it down to 25 watts on the dimmer which is pretty low and we're using basically 2 watts to 2.2 watts of electricity and then of course off and we're back to zero now on to the newest technology that's being used in poultry houses, which is LED lighting technology. First, we're going to show the LumaView LED bulb. Now, this bulb is one of the brightest bulbs on the market and also one of the largest. And it's rated at 6.7 watts of electricity at full intensity. And as you can see, it's mighty bright at 100 watts. And it's using between 7 to 8 watts it, it fluctuates so it just fluctuates at between 7 to 8 roughly and then now we're going to dim it down to 50 percent and at 50 percent we're basically using 5 4 to 5 watts it just depends LEDs do do a little more fluctuating and not sure why but I'm sure it has something to do with the technology and then at 25 percent which is roughly probably what you would be at in the broiler house you're using 
basically one watt, one and a half at tops, and then sometimes less than one watt at the 25% rating. And then of course off. Now on to the next bulb, which is another LED option. It's brand new. This is a green light 8 watt LED bulb with a shatterproof globe. These come with a three year warranty. And by the way, on the LumaView, that comes with a three year warranty as well. But the green light here turned to 100% intensity is using basically 8 watts of electricity. Basically, what it says it'll use. Now dim down to 50%. It's using basically 3 watts of electricity. And at 25%, we're using basically less than 1 watt of electricity per bulb. Now just keep in mind, this is measuring just that one light bulb here. And no other electricity is being drawn off of this cord other than that one bulb. Next we have a 12 watt green light LED bulb. This is a brand new bulb. It's rated to 100 watt equivalent incandescent and um, as you can see it's mighty bright. It's one of the brightest LED bulbs that we sell at Georgia Poultry and also comes with a three-year warranty but it cannot be put in enclosed um, globes or anything like that and as you can see it's roughly using like it says 12 watts electricity you know, variates up or down from 11 to 13, but on average 12. Now we're going to move it down to 50%, and at 50%, we're using basically one watt of electricity, which is pretty impressive to be using, you know, something that's equivalent to 100 watts, dim down to 50%, and only using basically one to two watts of electricity now, and then dim it down to 25%. And now we're using definitely below one watt of electricity per bulb. Okay, now I picked up one LED bulb that is being sold at a local home store. And because uh, a lot of, you know, chicken farmers ask, well, why can't I go buy them at, you know, my local home supply store? Well, one of the main reasons is, as you can see through the vents, these are open vented bulbs and dirt and everything else can get up in those holes and clog up your deflector and basically after a couple months if not a flock or two these bulbs are basically worthless to you and if not damaged whereas your other ones that I had in here before those holes are closed up and completely um, sealed in like you can see on the 12 watt and here's an 8 watt which basically has no place for dirt hardly to accumulate on that 8 watt green green uh, light bulb. Alright, so here we are with the one I got at the local hardware store. Now, you know, of course, the reason I, I got it is because it's cheap. And, you know, just because it's cheap doesn't mean it was designed for all applications. It's, it's made for residential use and and just want to warn everybody that's probably where it should stay. But here you are, you got an 8 watt LED bulb and it's using 8 watts. And then let's dim it down to 50%. And at 50%, you're using 5 watts, whereas on the other LEDs, you were in the 2 watt or less category at this level. And then at 25%, you're at 3 watts, whereas on the others, you were below 1 watt. So, you know, just because the bulb is cheaper at the home center store doesn't mean it's going to save you just the same amount of money as the other LED bulbs that are rated for poultry house use. So I hope I've helped you in terms of understanding wattages and when if you have any questions, go visit your local Georgia poultry store. Thank you for your time.